Hi, my name's Nicky Holloway. I'm a DJ and music producer and I've worked all over the world and uh, mostly based in London. I'm very lucky to have had a, a life where I've managed to travel the world, mostly invited and uh, playing at DJing and, and uh, performing at uh, festivals and events and nightclubs all over the world. Uh, so it was a bit of a nasty shock to me when I found out I was ill. You still don't really, at the beginning, you still don't really want to tell people because it's a bit, you feel a bit like, I don't know what it is, but you just, and then one day I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to tell everyone. The two main options available in England on the NHS is like, you know, radiotherapy and the one they all seem to be pushing you towards is, is, is um, radical prosectomy. So I thought to myself, well, there must be some other way. There has to be some other way. And I spent months going private in Harley Street trying to find Haifu and all these other different options, none of which were available, none of which they wanted to give me. As soon as they said I could come over, I just jumped on the plane and came, came over to Prague and... Uh, I knew straight away as soon as I walked in, and you know, after one after one sort of you know brief meeting with with the people, uh, I just went, yeah, that's it, that's the one for me. Protein therapy is unique uh, because it is the safest form of radiation therapy. We are one of the first centers in the world which is using pencil beam scanning as the most advanced form of this form of therapy. Success rate uh, of prostate cancer treatment depends on the stage of disease. We have three categories, low, intermediate and high risk. And for a low risk we have 99% of success rate. For, for high risk we have approximately 85 well, that, that was pretty James Bond in there. You know, like at the end of every James Bond film, everything's getting blown up and everything's going Poof! and exploding. We keep thinking that's going to happen, but it hasn't. For prostate cancer patients, there are a really uh, small limitation during the radiotherapy. Uh, one session takes only 20 minutes, and uh, after this, uh, they can do almost everything. If, you, if you're having to go through this sort of thing, I can't think of a probably a better place to do it because it's a lovely city. You know, and uh, I've, I've, I've been here quite a lot over the summer, popped with backwards and forwards. It's actually quite nice. To, it's just sort of, it feels like a bit of a weird holiday. It's a holiday, you know, because you know, I come here in the mornings and I'm, 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 it's all done by 11 o'clock and I've got the rest of the day to myself. Forget any preconceptions you may have about Prague. It's beautiful. And it, it's quite surprising by doing so how many people have contacted me and have said they, they've gone and got checked since, you know, and a couple of people I've actually needed to have done as well. So it's kind of a bit weird. It's like uh, by, by me being honest about it, I've definitely helped other people go and get themselves checked because there's nothing in, this, in, in England that, like, there's nothing like breast cancer where there's screening. No, nothing, you know, they should. Everyone in England should get a letter when they're 50 reminding them to go and get checked. It's nothing, it's just a blood test. It's easy, but no one does. I would like to thank, you. there's been about 1,200 people in, in, in general. That's a lot of people uh, who have all put in, you know, from everything from a fiver to a thousand pounds. So it's been, I've been very, very lucky. And I call them, I call them, I like to think of them as my angels, you know. And uh, when, when, when this is all out of the way, I'm going to be having one hell of a party for you all.